Welcome to ET slash Alien Contact with me, Jay Bishop. In this video, I present more small light phenomena as well as shadows that show up as strange shapes. I also go through an interview with a beautiful Arcturian alien that I'm in contact with by the name of Aali. Join me on this journey of alien interviews and strange phenomena. Just as a disclaimer, the phenomena I present in this video has either been slowed down or modified to show up better in editing. You can see from my previous videos that Adobe has a tendency to wash out the phenomena that I present. So I've applied the day to night filter to bring out the phenomena a little better in editing. The first series of phenomena I present is from May and June of 2024. These small lights that I'm presenting, I've recorded the most. One of the biggest factors that indicates this is alien phenomena is the fact that it is telepathically coordinated ahead of time, then recorded on my phone. One of the best examples of this phenomena, what I call daytime phenomena, is what happened on my birthday this year, May 25th, 2024. Another example is from June of 2024. In this instance, we have a strange light that shows up on the side of the frame and moves across and appears with this far away light in the sky as it moves across the frame to the left. Lastly, I have what appears to be a parachuting triangle. If the lights I've recorded are not convincing enough, then let's look at the strange shadow shapes the aliens have done. The first one looks like a smudge that pops in the recording. Until I zoom in and show a still image, it shows that it has a square structure to the front of it with some sort of fingerprint looking particulates behind the square. This is by far one of the strangest shapes I've recorded too. The second is a shadow that looks like a rabbit or an ink blot test. It flies by the camera like a bug, but it is clearly not a bug. Still image shows shadow particulates and what seems like a triangle in the center. The third is another bug looking image that shows up quickly on camera. Once again, we screenshot and zoom and you can see that it is similar to the first shape. It has a partial square and what appears to be a fingerprint looking trail behind it. The fourth shape is what I'm calling hairline shadows. I recorded at least three incidents of the hairline shadows. The first one changes shape four times. The first part looks like a backwards three or E. The second looks like a Y or J. The last two look like threes. Here are the rest of the hairline shadows. I call them that because they look like falling pieces of hair going across the frame. When we zoom in and examine the hairline shadows, their strangeness shows up even more. They are quite big and too far away just to be a hair flying across the camera. I cannot explain exactly why the aliens do the shapes that they choose to do. If it was up to me, I would have nothing but light bubble orbs show up in my videos which are like these. However, from what I've been told, they are usually trying to do phenomena that will show up on video for me. They often try different ideas and different shapes and fall back to what usually works and shows up on camera. That's why it's usually the small lights or these strange shadow shapes that I have the most of. Now that I've demonstrated more phenomena to you, let's go to my interview with another alien that I'm in contact with. Atli is an Arcturian. Arcturians are aliens that are a range of shapes and sizes. Some look more alien and some look more human than alien. Atli is said to be quite beautiful and human looking with blue eyes and dark hair. She is said to look quite similar to Ruby Sunday from the new Doctor Who, with the exception that she has dark hair instead of short blonde hair. And she's taller as well. Atali comes from a planet called Ilazokath, which is also the name of her band. She is a musician who can play guitar, piano, drums, bass, keyboards, and many other instruments. She has a degree in music from the Galactic College of Greater Studies. Atali is also intergalactically famous for her work with the Galactic Federation, her music, and her movie career.
I asked her a series of questions for this interview. Question one, what is your mission on Earth? Answer, my mission is to oversee Arcturian's actions related to phenomena, as well as observe and report on contact with humans like you. My primary mission is to observe and maintain contact with you. I chose this mission to be in contact with you because of our connection and mutual love for music. Question two, what is it like on your home world, Elazokath? Answer, our world is a lot like Earth culture. We have celebrities, we have entertainment, but we have a much more sexually open in culture than what is generally depicted on Earth. We are ruled by a council that answers to the Galactic High Council. We are one of thousands of worlds that are a part of the Galactic Federation. We have an entertainment-focused society. Question three, what do you mean by entertainment-focused society? Answer, we work for the betterment of each other, but what is most celebrated is artistic expression and contribution. Music, movies, art, and science are considered the highest forms of expression and therefore will earn a person's seats in local government and world government. It all depends on how and what you contribute and whether that benefits society in some way, either through deepening understanding artistically or bettering society through science. Question four, are you also a scientist? Answer, I am most definitely a scientist. My people are encouraged by our society to be artists and scientists. I'm considered a renowned mathematician on my home planet. Question five, have you invented anything as a scientist? Answer, yes, I contributed to what you may call quantum mathematics. The math I invented is fundamental to our form of intergalactic travel. It enables us to travel interdimensionally. Question six, what is your status on your planet? Answer, because of my contributions in art and science and my work for the Galactic High Council, I am considered royalty on my home planet. Though it is not an official ruling class status, it is just how I am viewed as a celebrity on my home planet. Question 7. Do you have a family on your world? Answer, yes, I do. Three moms, two dads, four brothers and two sisters, and a whole lot of friends. I'm also married with children. Question 8. How do you view humans on Earth and our progress towards open contact? Answer, I am going to be completely honest and say that I am 80% skeptical of humans ever reaching a state of open contact with aliens. Humans are still too ignorant regarding aliens and things outside their world to make the kind of progress you need to make in order to have open contact with alien beings visiting their planet. But what gives me hope is people like you. But the number of people like you on Earth while growing is still so small. I hope things get better, but just from an observational perspective, humanity seems to be far from what it needs to be. You have yet to learn to take care of each other and your planet, let alone deal with alien species. Question 9. Do you believe that it can get better for Earth and humanity? Answer. Before you, I didn't believe it would get better, but I consider where my world came from and where it is now, and I believe there is hope for humanity. It just may come with a lot of pain first. Question 10. Do you have a message for humanity? Answer. While I think your ignorance outweighs your heart, I have hope for your humanity. When you see differences in each other, stop to appreciate what they bring to your society and find the contribution every person can make. Do this instead of tearing each other down all the time. Just stop and put yourself in the shoes of the people you dislike and actually try to see their side of things. When humanity learns to do this on a large scale, you will leap forward exponentially. This is what it means to work for the betterment of everyone. And those are all the questions that I asked Ali. I want to thank you very much for listening to this interview and going through the strange phenomena with me. And I hope you have a good week.